Welcome back to another video of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore, the 20th anniversary edition server. Anyway, let's play. Dude, I just logged in. I mean, there's a death already, man. Goodness, you need to chill. So we're heading over here. Uh, we killed... Is it called Nulls? They're called Razor Main. It's snar it's snarl snouts, right? I'm not too sure. It's one or the other. Help out the warrior a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to kill these guys, but the higher level ones, that's, uh, that's deeper in. And with my luck, it's going to be packed. It's going to be packed there. All right, we have four deaths already. Goodness. And yeah, now I need to kill Zebras. Alrighty then, so hopefully within this video, uh, we're still going to do Railing Caverns. I'm, I'm not too sure if we will. Obviously, we'll do my best. It is a gold. To do waiting caverns before WoW subscription is done. Yeah, we don't need the hunters. Looks like uh, the easier one to get by is the coster. Thank <laughs> you. 
Goodness, a full heal, dude. Spank it. Something we need here. Something need doing. Work, work. I think we need the bigger guy. Sykes. Something need doing? Yeah, we're looking for the bigger guy. There's, there should be one bigger guy walking around here. Wait a minute. Found the boxes. Yeah, we need a task. Let me just invite, please. Thank you. go he 
It's a fake 30 death. So we need three more casters. There's another one there. Another one down there. What the? You put a totem down. <laughs> he put the totem down, dude. I was like, what? I, uh, we need one more mage. Kill the non mages because I think they have a chance to spawn mages. What the? Alden Orphaned, plus one intel. Okay, now we go this way. We can go way to Ratchet. What's happening here, bro? Those pools are a little bit risky, my friend. Like, what are you, what are you doing? Yeah, so over here we need to kill some dinos. Already has a priest buff. It's skinning time. We're getting. Oh, it's still light leather. I thought it was medium. Soon. So it begins. Yeah, dude. 
You didn't want to train skinning. Now you're going to pay. Pay the ultimate price. Die. Whoa, dude, this thing is level 18. 17. Hey, you're a zebra. Why do you think you're a horse, dude? like a zebra but sound like a horse. I know it's the same family but still. Zebras is like wild horses, right? Oh my goodness. Slap it like it's hot. Come on. I'm just getting one light leather and we have seven failed attempts in a row. No, we failed until it disappeared.
Nah, my bro, we need to go train. Otherwise, it might be too late. I sure wish Vice Admiral Greslick did a better job of keeping the seas safe for our trading vessels. With all the gold the trade princes have poured into the trade fleets, it ticks me off to see so many pirates running willy-nilly, raiding my ships and stealing my goods. I heard that the South Sea Freebooters have set up a camp just south of here. They've been a real thorn in my side. And if Greslick won't take care of them, well, maybe you can help me get rid of them. The Venture Company set up a small research facility far to the north of here, southwest of the Sludge Fen. I don't know very much about what they're doing, but did manage to discover that they're experimenting with something called a Samoflange. Now, what the heck is a Samoflange? Well, whatever it is, I want to examine it, so I need someone to go get it. I obtained a copy of their control system operating manual. You should be able to figure out how to disengage the Samoflange from it. Well, I'll be... This was one of Chen Stormstout's kegs. He traveled with Rexar a long time ago. I haven't seen or heard about him in a Kodo's age. I appreciate you bringing this to me, adventurer. Would you like a taste of Chen's namesake? Oh, the Stormstout is a mighty brew. Chen taught the recipe to my mentor, and my mentor passed it on to me. I'll need you to get me a few things, but I can tell you this. The kick is worth it. Bring me five Savannah Lion tusks from any Savannah Lion, five Plain Strider kidneys from any Plain Strider, and one Thunder Lizard horn from any species of Thunder Lizard. That should do the trick nicely. You can find these ingredients throughout the Barrens. Bro, look how Barrens look like. I could literally quest anywhere I want on the map. I can run literally anywhere. Isn't that a bit ridiculous? level up no 48% bro no near nowhere near leveling yet Someone's fishing. Level 17 shaman. I want to see if he's all found. Well, he heard me and ran away. Dispel magic. Power word shield three.
Kill it with fire. The dude we're looking for is not here. Wait. Why are you hitting me this hard? So there's the guy we're looking for. Thank you. We kill the rest? Sure. I don't have the grab quest. Can you can you share that quest? Stolen goods. Ah, okay. Thank it.
Is the shield becoming better though? 181, 130, it's still very bad. Nice. Job's done. So now we're just gonna run back and in these quests. Christian, wanna deal more damage until I need health. Yeah, for me that's... If you're playing Rogue or Hunter, it's 100% agility, right? It is your main stat. Hey there, you did good, kid. A little more work like that, and it'll be one less thing I'll have to worry about. Hopefully, they'll be convinced that they should relocate their operation elsewhere. In the meantime, there is the small matter of getting back the goods they stole from me. I've been waiting forever for my last shipment of goods from Booty Bay. I'm pretty sure that it must have been stolen by the freebooters. But just to make sure, will you go down to the dockside and ask Dizzywig if my goods were already put into my warehouse without my knowledge? Here, take my ledger down to Dizzywig and have him double-check my inventory records against his logs. Ah, that sort of business. You know, I saw the Heedless once on the open seas. Fearsome ship, or was that boat? Those sailors are so particular. Anyways, watching her glide across the water was quite a sight to see. I'm glad her infamous captain will trouble my ships no longer. A small enough crate. Yes, I should be able to find room for this aboard the ship. It sails with the next tide. I trust this is soon enough. Excellent. Let me just enter it into my ledger. All taken care of. Good day to you, adventurer. Ah, uh, Gazlo sent you. Did he? Just a moment. 
Let me take a look here and check my own logs and make sure I didn't have Gazlo's shipment sent to the wrong place. Bet he's waiting for those boots from Drizlek. Everything looks square from my records, adventurer. Go on back and tell Gazlo he's out of luck. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the pirates that nabbed his goodies. Nothing else I can do for him. Oh, though you could tell him that I've got some things from Undermine for him when he has the time to come pick them up. Being wharfmaster of a busy port like Ratchet, I keep my finger on the pulse of information. I know all about the exchange of goods and money between here and Booty Bay. The latest bit of news I've heard is about the Venture Company's Boulder Load Mine, northeast of the Sludge Fen. One of the miners discovered an emerald the size of your fist. I know a few buyers who'd be interested in getting their hands on something like that, and I'd be willing to go half and half on its sale. No dice, eh? I guess it must have been the freebooters, then. Dizzywig's on the level. I'm sure he wouldn't cheat me like that. After all, he is on the payroll. Looks like I've got some goods to get back, adventurer. What do you say? While I'd like to recover all my goods, I'm sure that's not possible. Still, there's a few things that I absolutely must have. As you see, my observatory is ready to go, but it needs the smaller of the two lenses. The first arrived by caravan from Duratar, but the second was bound by ship and never arrived. Also, I never got my boot shipment from Drizlik in Booty Bay. Head down to the pirate camp and see if you can find them. Okay, chill about that quest for now, okay? Gotta farm some animals first. Thank me. No problem, buddy. I always help where I can, okay? Two out of five. Dude, there's 164 people online just in this guild. Excuse me. Thank you. 
Three out of five. Still need two zebras as well. Wait, you're killing my animals, dude. What 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 are you doing? Someone else is looting that corpse. Did we just get an error like that? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. It's my corpse to loot, okay? I should add the shield to our rotation. We need one more plane strider. And then we're done with this quest. See, they say fly to crossroads, but I feel like flying to... Orgrimmar. Just to go train skinning.
Nope, still not done. You see, I think Priest is most probably the easiest class to level, right? But it's the longest class to level. Since you do like no damage, I think even if you go into Shadow Spells, you do like zero damage compared to other classes. But I think you have the best kit in the game. Other, okay, mages do have the base kit. Um, you like I think priests have the second best kit in the game. When I'm talking about kit, I'm talking about like survivability beyond engineering. Right, I think mages with blink and root is the best escape mechanism in the game. But we have fear, we have increased armor, we have shields, we have... It's probably the biggest heals in the game. Um, we have reduced damage that we could do to the enemy. And you would say, hey, Warlock has those things as well. Sure, but not as good as a priest, right? Warlock need a pet to shield themselves. I could just press a button. And that button cost me 10% of my mana. But it's a pretty solid shield. I have overtime heal. I'm not going to fly to Crossroads. We're going to fly to Orgrimmar. Who, like, I would say... Most probably the easiest, well, not most probably, the easiest to level is Mage. The only time they die is when they run out of mana. Um, so if Mage is the easiest, who would I say is the hardest? I think the hardest until level 10 is a hunter. The hardest until level 20. Is a... Is a warrior. I don't know what level warriors could overpower. But warriors is hard until overpower. Hunters is hard until they get their pet. Um... Warlocks is hard. In the beginning. Then once you get the imp. It's a lot easier. Did we just fly to Ratchet? Turn around and fly back Ratchet to Ratchet area? The fuck, dude? Who programmed this shit? Um... So yeah, Warriors is the hardest until overpower. Um, you see, I would say Warlocks is hard until Voidwalker, but that's not true. The Voidwalker is is good only once you get it, but like once you learn the next spells, the 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 next overtime damage, the next corruption, the next emulate, you know, like you're, you'll pull aggro off that Voidwalker and it's becoming useless. It's nullified. Where a hunter, like if even if you play marksmanship, it will still like keep good aggro. Because growl is good. But the Voidwalker's growl is not good. So... I would say 1 to 10, the hardest class is, like if I have to bet on something, I would say it's it's Hunter. And then from 20 to 60, the easiest class should be Hunter as well. So it gets completely flipped around. Warriors become easier once they get overpower. 
Uh, priest, in my opinion, once you get a wand, it's so easy. You never run out of mana, and you, you do pretty rock solid DPS. I mean, I'm doing roughly 20 DPS right now. It's way lower than any other class. But it's... It's stable, if that makes sense. I think the priest is the e like one of the easiest to level, but the slowest. Uh, we can also do... Yeah, we have 60. We need four levels, right? No, it's 75, dude. I don't think it's 70. few things, but I'm no expert. Lucky for you, Magar is. He's standing near the back of the shop. See if he can help you, but be careful not to rile him. He can be irritable. Okay, so never buy. Fifteen. Seems to go to level seventy-five. I know a few things, but I'm no expert. Lucky for you, Magar is. He's standing near the back of the shop. See if he can help you, but be careful not to rile him. He can be irritable. About time you showed me some results. Now I'll show you results. Sure, I'll make that. What do you need? Be safe. Is whatever. Go forth to victory. Okay, the rest of the cloth we can either decide whether we sell or we train first aid. Now we'll fly to crossroads.
You haven't lived until you've looked down on the world from the back of a Windrider. Welcome to the Crossroads, adventurer. My name is Thork. I lead the defenses here in the name of the War Chief. Please, feel free to make yourself at home. As long as you mind your business, no one should have any problem with you taking up some space. There are many threats to our safety here. If you've already become familiar with the lay of the land, speak to the others here. Perhaps they have tasks for you to do. Ha ha! Thank you, adventurer. This will help us greatly. You're a boon to the crossroads and to the Horde. If there is anything I can do for you, please let me know. Well done, adventurer. With Kreenig's death, there will be a definite decline in the attacks on our caravans. Your people should be proud to count you among them. Not bad, adventurer. Those Jevra hold a lot of strength in their legs. A sharp kick from them can knock even a torrent on its haunches. It looks like you have some strength in you too. Are you ready for a real challenge? Now it's time to go after something that really bites. The Prowlers of the Barrens are a tough breed. Tough, resourceful, sly, and deadly. You'll find them among the tall grasses. You'll find many to the southwest of the crossroads. Be wary as you hunt them, adventurer. Or you may find yourself no longer the predator, but instead the prey. Okay, looks like we're heading right now to... Are we going there? I th thought we might start with... The quest line... For Wailing Caverns. I think we are gonna start it now, but it's gonna be a little bit. We have our duties, adventurer. Duties to the Horde. The Kolkar are a threat to the Horde's claims in the Barrens. We must reduce the numbers of their troops. And so, I have a bounty task for you. While in Kolkar territories, slay their warriors and collect centaur bracers. Return when you have a heap of bracers, and the Horde will reward you well. The centaurs have plagued the Tauren for years. And recently, the Kolkar centaurs of the Barrens have grown into a real threat. Normally, they were disorganized in these lands, but new leaders have risen among them, rallying them. To preserve our holdings here, these centaur leaders must be destroyed. Bring me the head of Barak Kodaban. He camps near the Forgotten Pools to the north. Defeat him, then return to me. Doesn't need the priest buff. He already has one. Okay, we gotta just swim to the middle here and grab some mushrooms. Yeah, we are on the Mushrooms quest. So 
swim. Faster swim. I see two mushrooms. There's two more. Quickly. We might be done with the mushroom so fast. No, 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 no. <laughs> Job's done. Yay. Okay, so that's done. Then I feel like we're running really fast now for the quest. It's pretty nice.
We only have one bracer so far. Kind of sad. The more we farm now, the less we have to farm later. So... And also the lighter ones is level 15. Fangs. So only fangs is here also, or it could just be a wannabe a wannabe guild. I think uh, we get more bracers or higher drop rate bracers chance if you... Do the higher level ones. What do you need? Well done, adventurer. The centaur are low, brutish creatures, but a few have the wit and vision to lead, and those are the most dangerous. Barak was such a centaur, it is good that he is dead. The centaur Verog the Dervish wanders the barrens and will be difficult to find, but he is based at the centaur command tent at the stagnant oasis to the southeast. It may be possible to draw him to you. Travel to the stagnant oasis to the southeast and attack centaur near the command tent. It will be dangerous, but if you can kill enough centaur then they should raise an alarm, and Verog will come. Bring me his head and I will place it with Barak Kodobane's. It's a fake one, yeah. It's a fake uh, guild on the server. Now we gotta kill lions. If this is the same quest or a different two different quests that needs lions. But yeah, we just reached level 18, so we're the perfect level to do dead mines if we wanted to do it. After we're done with this batch,
Wanna heal when in cover's last spot. High level group. Only you and me are clothies. Later when I did DM. Later when I uh, later when I did the quest line. But no. Highest priority right now is to get the quest line for it done. And then either do dead mines first or winning caverns. That's that's my goal before my subscription runs out. Okay, now it's Harpy's time. Why is my one seventy times slower sometimes? Am I lagging or something? Sixteen.
Level 18. This thing is actually our level. Let's just go into weak auras and move this again. There should be good. We do have one damage issue now. Because it seems like the, d the, the dot falls off before we kill the enemy. Okay, we just have to run here. Dude, it's not even close. It has more than 20% health still. When the dot falls off. It's like, it's not even close, dude. So when do we get the new dot? Oh, I can actually go train it now. Holy shit, there's so many. There's like four of them on top of one another. Wait to move a bit.
Five out of eight. I mean, three more. In theory, that's roughly about ten more kills. Three minute, uh, three minute curse. Twenty percent chance to heal target. Dude, our mana regen is ridiculous. When when this thing procs in the shadow, oh my goodness, it's way too much mana we're getting. Take the bag. It's a potion in the bag, buddy. I don't need no potion. more? Yeah, I told you.
Dude, I, I honestly can't believe like how many players is actually playing the game. Job's done. Okay, so now we're gonna run here on some raptor heads. Yeah, they can just call this infinite, uh, infinite mana. You regenerate your normal rate while you're casting. And if you don't cast, you regenerate the double the amount. It's ridiculous, dude. I'll almost probably never sit and drink again. avoid these plane striders and lions we don't have to kill them I am tailoring plus skinning Funny enough, I haven't seen a dinosaur all the way here.
So yeah, I think if I hand in those quests, there will be three ads spawning. There they are. Probably the best thing to do is, uh, well, as a priest, to just fear all three and just keep running. That's what I'm gonna do if they spawn on me. Oh yeah, we're getting a respawn on now. Excuse me, dude. Alrighty then. Return to Ratchet. So weird. Why are we not doing these quests? Director Riddlevox put me in charge of the Union's Shredder development program. Few months on the job and I'm already in hot water. I could use your help, adventurer. This is... Um, interesting. Yes. I'll have it sent along to the Tinker's Union headquarters in Undermind. 
I'm sure after some careful dissection and research, they'll be able to make some sense of it. But perhaps I'll have a little look myself first. The Venture Company stole many of the best goblin mines. But from time to time, we get the opportunity to steal some back. A while ago, the Venture Company outfit in the Stone Talon Mountains hired Garenzo Wrenchwhistle, a gnome. Their other engineer, Ziz Physics, was so taken aback by this, he pleaded with me to find him new employment with the Tinker's Union. I set him on a few tasks, but he might need help. Maybe you could look in on him for me. He's stationed at the western edge of Windshear Crag. I think I might have broken that samoflange. That's not good, because I already told some colleagues in Undermine about it, and they were very intrigued. We must find a way to fix it. Take the broken samoflange to Wenneke Bolt Bucket, just south of Morshan Rampart, the horde outpost between the Barons and Ashenvale. She is very clever and inquisitive. If you show her the samoflange, I bet she'd jump at the chance to fix it. Speak quickly. What is it? I think someone touched him. What? Ah, yes, these are good specimens. Potent. I am forsaken. And we honor our contracts. Here is your reward, adventurer. May your blades never dawn. These are nice. Real nice. Good job, adventurer. I look forward to seeing more of your work in the future. <laughs> adventurer, back for more? Good, I like to hear that. This time I want you to assassinate some of the Harpy Lieutenants in the Dry Hills. Only Witch Wing Slayers can be Lieutenants, and you can tell them apart by the rings they carry. They are a nasty bunch, but they lead some of the underlings in that area. Taking out six of them will be a decisive strike against their matriarchy. Make sure they die painfully, adventurer. We want those harpy wenches to know the idiocy of picking fights with the Horde. You found a fissure in the earth with gases bubbling from it. Strange. This may be an answer to our questions, but we cannot yet be sure. But it is a clue, and I am grateful that you found it. Like the one you found at the Forgotten Pools, there may be fissures at the other oases in the Barrens. If so, then perhaps the fissures are the oases' source of life. We must test this. Here, take these seeds. They are dead and infertile, but take them to the stagnant oasis to the southeast. If there is a fissure there, then place the seeds within it and observe. Ah, I see you've been busy lurking in the grasses and hunting prowlers. Do you think, then, it is time to face a champion among them? White Mist Iyayaki in the Torin Tongue is the king of the Savannah Cats. He hunts with such stealth they say he's like a thin white mist on the earth. And he kills so fast his prey have no time for fear or pain. The Torin say he is both mercy and death. You will learn if that's true, for I now set you on the path to hunt Iyayaki. His lair is northeast of the crossroads among the bones of giant Kodo Go. Blow this horn when you reach his lair. Blow the horn and he will come. All right, back at Ogremar. Bro, people, people are just dying left, right and center. It's kind of insane. The spirits of the Stone Talon Mountains are angered, for goblins and their servants are plundering and burning the land. So the land has cried out, 
and those who listen for such things have heard. Sirith Stonebreak, a promising shaman of the Horde, was sent to Stone Talon. She reports massive deforestation at the hands of the goblins and requests aid. Meet Sirith in Stone Talon. To reach her, follow the road west of the Baron's crossroads. She is camped near the Great Wood Vale. Okay, let's get our better shadow word pain. Insane in the membrane. Who you be? New shield. See ya later. Yeah, we can do some first aid. It's not high enough to level though. Yeah, I knew we're not going to get first aid at level 40. But soon. All right. Exit through here. Dead mines. I need healer. Why is stuff floating, dude? In a 20 year old game. What is he doing? Anyone else for dead mines? I uh...
What? He's offline now. now. I ran all the way here for nothing. Okay, there's a group that says they will do dead mines, but they're gonna do it only after railing caverns. So join them for the railing caverns and then dead mines afterwards. Obviously, this will happen in the next episode. Highest level at the moment is level 44. until you've looked down on the world from the back of a Windrider. going to tank yeah that makes sense could be true. Okay, so just making my way to raining caverns, pretty much. My goal is to do dead mines and raining caverns, so found a group that will do both back to back. I got coffee now, baby.
Oh, it's so freaking warm. Oh. Okay. As Naralex descended deeper into his nightmare, a strange breed of beasts arose from beneath the barrens into the Wailing Caverns. These deviate creatures have strange otherworldly properties. While evil in nature, it is my opinion that some good can come from their existence here in Kalimdor. I believe their hides will be of particular use in the ways of leatherworking. If you feel up to the task, venture into the caves below and retrieve some deviate hides. The Royal Apothecary Society, based in the great undercity of Lordaeron, has sent me here for a very specific service, Adventurer. Perhaps you wish to aid me, and in turn, the Dark Lady in our efforts to advance the Forsaken. Recently I studied a rare specimen of flora named Serpent Bloom. I believe in greater quantities this herb has great potential. Unfortunately, Serpent Bloom can only be found in the darkest recesses of the Wailing Caverns, a dangerous cave system located in the Barrens. Naralex had a noble goal. Our great leader aspired to enter the Emerald Dream and help regrow these harsh lands back into the lush forest it once was. But something went terribly wrong. Naralex's dream turned into a nightmare and corrupt creatures began to inhabit the caverns. While some disciples of Naralex seek to awake our master, my concern is with ridding these caves of the evil beasts. Brave the caverns, adventurer, and eradicate the deviate spawn. Oops! I had a little mishap, as you can see. The morning cargo shipment from Booty Bay was huge. Huge, I say. Never seen so many crates. Well, I was trying to expedite things, so I started unloading a bit more than I could handle. That's when everything came tumbling down. Before I knew what was going on, I saw that menace, Mad Maglish, go running off with a bottle of 99-year-old port. Chased him all the way to Wailing Caverns. No way I was going in there. Maybe you're brave enough to find him? Okay guys, we'll start the next episode as we start the dungeon, otherwise it's going to be a three hour video, and that's not good for me, not good for you. So we're going to just end the video here, obviously, and we'll upload once uh, we start the dungeon. It's going to be a good one, hopefully. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day supporting the channel. If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.